Do you know that you are the creator of your own reality? And do you know the reason that you are is because you are offering a vibration that law of attraction is responding to? And do you know that you have control of the vibration that you offer? And do you know that you do a really lousy job of controlling the vibration that you offer? We love you so much, but you are vibrational beings who for the most part have forgotten that you are vibrational beings. So you've trained yourself because of the environment that you live in to be more observing beings, to be more observing of that which is surrounding you. And as you observe what is surrounding you, we're not just talking about what you're seeing. We're talking about your awareness of what is your awareness of what is your sort of opinion of why what is is as what is is your conversations with others about what is your disappointment with what is like that <laughs> and so as you observe what is what is trains you into a frequency that doesn't allow what is to shift into what is wanted now if what is is what is wanted then observation is a wonderful thing and we are encouraging you to make lists of the positive aspects of what surrounds you to count your blessings so to speak to acknowledge the things to get on rampages of appreciation to to acknowledge the things that please you but if there are aspects of what is that are not pleasing you then observing and conversing and remembering and beating the drum of just practices a vibration and that's what we mean when we say you are not controlling your vibration as well as you could because you're letting what is dominate your vibration and you don't have to because you have the power of selective sifting you have the ability to focus you have the ability to weigh the pros and the cons and to focus more on the pros you have the ability to look for solutions even when a problem is surrounding you you could be solution oriented in the middle of a problem Jerry and Esther built a magnificent house in San Antonio and it's one of those crazy high-tech houses with touch panels around and the house seems to have a mind of its own and so there was an electrical storm the other night and some of the systems stopped working and it is not uncommon for Esther to come home and push a button and have the button not operative so she knows that she should be solution oriented because nice people always come and fix it and they always come quickly and they're nice people they're nice to be with there's no downside to that but there's just something about the system continuing to not be working that is so annoying it's just annoying because after all and certainly you would all agree with Esther we don't encourage it but you usually would <laughs> it's just not right it shouldn't be this precarious it shouldn't be this finicky it should be more stable it should be more stable it should be more stable does that sound like a solution oriented statement it is not it should be different than it is is never a solution oriented statement it may be true it should be it should be but the question is can it be under these conditions under what conditions Abraham just get to the point what is it you're talking about <laughs> under the conditions of your vibrational leaning toward an expectation and even an acceptance of something unwanted and then a further conversation about it so Esther says so if I just don't care if I have lights if I don't push buttons that don't work if I just stay away if I just don't go there where broken things are is that the answer and we say it's one answer anything that helps you to withdraw your attention from a situation that continues to practice a vibration so Abraham this is Esther Abraham Abraham 
are are you saying to me that standing in the middle of something unwanted that there is a way to observe the unwanted in other words I can't put my head in the sand I can't move away I can't be someplace else all of the time so avoiding the what isness doesn't seem practical so are you saying that there is a way that I could be in awareness of the problem but still a vibrational match to the solution is that what you're saying and we say that is what we're saying that's what we're encouraging and understanding that you can be a vibrational match to the solution even when you are standing with the evidence of the problem and that's what we mean by being aware of your vibration and doing something about what your vibration is because being aware of the problem and talking about the problem and remembering the problem and making a list of how many times you've come to repair this very same thing over the last couple of years is not being a vibrational match to the solution it's keeping the problem active so Abraham are you saying that I am responsible for faulty electrical equipment is that what you're saying <laughs> yeah that's what we're saying that's what we're saying it's hard to hear because there are so many other people there were people who planned it there were people who installed it there were people who programmed it there were a lot of people that seem much more responsible than Esther but there isn't anybody else responsible for anything that's happening in your experience now if that's hard for you to take get over it <laughs> because until you accept that you are the vibrational center of your world and that everything that comes to you every relationship everything that happens around you every convergence of experiences everything that happens to you everything that you experience is a result of your vibrational offering and we know of course of course there are things that you don't want to happen and of course there are things that you would rather not observe and of course this is a minefield at times that you are navigating your way through but when you accept that you have the ability under all conditions to be solution oriented even when the problem is blaring and you start tuning yourself on situation after situation to be solution oriented then you'll get control of your vibrational point of attraction and that's really what we're wanting to talk most about here today because you are the creator of your experience because you are the focuser of your world and as you are the focuser of your world you are the offer of vibration and since law of attraction is responding to your vibration everything comes back to what your point of attraction is and your point of attraction is evidenced to you not just in the things that are manifesting around you but by the way you are feeling in other words before a manifestation occurs occurs you have emotions that are letting you know what your point of attraction is if you're grouchy your point of attraction is not going to please you as it gives to you the results of that vibration if you are afraid your point of attraction is not going to please you as it yields to you the response to the vibration that is the reason that you feel the way you feel the emotions that you feel are always about what your vibrational relationship is with who you really are and what you really want a friend was telling Esther a story a while back about being a substitute teacher at a school and there was a little boy at the school who was clearly neglected not abused but neglected and Esther's dearest of friend said I so wanted to just scoop him up and take him home on the weekend I just wanted to give him a little piece of a better life and the school administrator said to her when she voiced that that wouldn't be good for him because you will just show him what he's missing so we want you to sit with that idea for just a little bit in an understanding of how your emotions work because your emotions are relative to your desire 
because as you sift through life and you come to new conclusions about what you prefer or about what you desire you establish a vibrational being we've been telling you that it is a vibrational reality we've been telling you that your vibrational reality is what we are calling your vortex it is the vibrational version of the best that you have carved out through all that you've lived and your inner being or the source of you stands in vibrational altitude or harmony with that vortex in other words every time you ask for something your vibrational version becomes the vibrational equivalent of that furthest expanded request or desire but you stand in your physical body observing broken electrical systems or people missing from your life that you don't want to be missing and as you stand in your now focused wherever you're focused there is a relationship a vibrational relationship between the vortex version which is your furthest expanded version and where you stand in other words if life has not caused you to want it you won't miss it if it's not there but if your life has caused you to want it in other words if your life has caused you to expand to that then you not going along with that expanded version is what equals your diminished joy it's what equals negative emotion so if life causes you to want it and it does all day every day but you maintain the frequency of the problem or the frequency of the complaint or the frequency of the need or the frequency we're beating the drum the frequency of the absence of it if you are beating the drum of where you stand where you stand what is what is what is what is what is you deprive yourself of the vibrational alignment with who you really are and the reason you feel bad you think is because you don't have it that's not why you feel bad you feel bad because you are in a lower vibrational frequency because of your resistant attention you feel bad because you're not up to speed with who you are not because you are depriving yourself of that thing or that person or that situation that you want isn't that nice to know